Good evening, everybody. I'm Pierre Roberge, The Daily Trader. It is July 7th, and we are going to take a look at uh, Tesla stock from a technical analysis perspective. My goal with this video is to help you understand what technical analysis is and how you can use it to do your own research and make your own decisions. So Tesla, uh, Tesla went down fourteen dollars and ninety three cents, two point twenty six percent, at six forty four sixty five. Post market, we seem to be down uh, by eighty five cents. So, what? Uh, well, yesterday, yesterday, Tesla broke out of the channel it had been since uh, June twenty fourth. So we were in a horizontal channel, in a congestion zone, as uh, it is often called. And uh, we broke out of that congestion zone yesterday, but remained above the support here. So this support that has been there as a resistance and sometimes support since last uh, January uh, was used as support yesterday. So yesterday, based on the chart, um, there was a chance that Tesla was rebounding on this support because it rebounded yesterday on that support. But today, that's another, that's, that is another story. So today, Tesla broke out of that support. So this nice line becomes a resistance now. So basically, Tesla is weaker than uh, what we thought uh, would be happening. So next stop for Tesla, next stop is um, this support line here. So we have a support here. Let me just draw it for you a little bit. So we have this support line uh, that uh, was used since, uh, well, around here. Let, let me just draw this. This is the support I'm talking about. My drawings are so bad. So this, this support line here. So this is where Tesla is heading. Hopefully Tesla is going to bounce on that and then, and then continue. Because basically, if you look at our previous resistance lines here, so here we have a resistance line that we have had for a long time. So basically, Tesla is in a channel right now. Look at the bottom here of the channel. May 19th, we bounced on it. Look at uh, June 3rd. Look at uh, June 16th. So Tesla has been following this support line. And it has never went above this resistance line right here. So, so we are in a channel, basically. And when we went right up here, so we were towards the uh, upper band of that channel and we stayed close to the upper band for a while and now we are going down uh, tesla could have bounced on that support again here it could have bounced it was a legitimate um a legitimate uh, alternative but this is not what is happening and we need to adjust our thinking as we see the stock deciding to do things we did not expect that's uh, we just need to accept reality and just readjust what we were doing so uh, if you had been in tesla for a while uh, maybe this is an area where you decide to sell for a little while and then see what happens with the stock so most likely it's going to rebound on this uh, support here because the stock is part of a channel but it's it's very possible that uh, the stock is even weaker and goes down to 595. Everything is possible. But I think that the most probable thing right now is that the stock is going to bounce on this, uh, this support here, this, this diagonal support. And the uh, reason that uh, is making me say that is that um, this area here where my mouse is, also um, is also subject to uh, the 624 support that we had for a while. So we have double support here that would act as preventing the stock to go down to 595. We'll see. 
Um, another note, uh, I don't talk about this often. I just uh, started to uh, put that information or that indicator in there. This uh, blue line that you see here is the 200 day moving average. So, um, so this is um, when the stock is above the, the 200 day moving average. This means that the stock is in a bullish mode and when it goes down, it's a bearish mode. And uh, the stock tends also to uh, bounce on that moving average when it is in a bull mode. So if you look at what happened, let me let me zoom this a little bit for you. So if we go back, if we go back here around March of last year, my computer is so slow. So uh, let me go even. Okay, so so if you see here, we had been above the 200 day moving average that we dipped a little bit below, we went up and we bounced on it. And since uh, since April, since second of April 2020, the stock had been above the moving average. Look at this above, 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 above. And uh, when we were here close to 560, the stock was close to bouncing on it, but no, it was stronger, stronger, stronger. And uh, look at what happened here, not well, very recently. So we, we crossed it for just a little while and then we bounced on it here around June 4th. So maybe this is possible. Maybe we are going to bounce once more. So that's also a possibility. Um, let's look at the hour chart to see if uh, we cannot understand something more about what happened today. Uh, wow. So basically, look at this. During the first hour, the first hour. So um, basically, we opened right here. So if you remember yesterday, I said, wow, this is nice. I like to see this. I like to see that we we are bouncing on the support. So we bounced and during the last three hours of yesterday, we started going back up and we opened right here. So we opened today at 664. So we opened quite, quite high. But then during the first hour, boom, big red candle. So what is the uh, volume here? 107,000 shares. So somebody basically dumped the stock. Boom, they they dumped it and um, the market has been trending sideways ever since. So um, something uh, something big uh, happened. Let's go back to the daily chart to see uh, what our indicators uh, have fared because of this. So um, our stochastic took a plunge. So look at this. So stochastic is at 48 now. So it's below 50. So I need to put back a thumbs down. I put a thumbs down when uh, it's below 50. So we have a thumbs down here. Uh, in terms of the MACD, MACD is still positive crossed over. So the uh, blue line is still over the orange line and the two lines are still positive. So we still have our double digits double um, thumbs up and the DMI DMI is still um, is still above the uh, green line. So for the DMI and for the MACD, what happened is not is not enough to make them change into a bearish uh, trend. So for them, this is still a bull trend. And for uh, me also, uh, as I said, I think it's going to bounce on this support here. So we'll see, we'll see what happens this week. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking. Thank you for commenting. I read all of your comments. Please subscribe so that you will receive my Palantir and Tesla video every single weekday in your feed. We have a Patreon uh, account. We have a Discord server and we have a TradingView affiliate link. I'm gonna wish you a great evening. We are, we are going to talk tomorrow and I'm gonna tell you à la prochaine.